really don't give a fuck with all the conspiracy. I don't give a fuck about what's happening here and there. All I know is that war is coming. That's all I need to know. I don't give a fuck about nothing else. I don't care about who, who pulling the strings, who this. They all going to get it. All I need to know is that the enemy is here. I mean, it's time for me to train. It's time for me to go out patrol, run recon, go out with my brothers and operate. It's time for me to show the enemy that there's many of us who take it very seriously when it comes to the defense and the safety of our republic. Don't confuse us those Republicans and those Democrats because we don't view them as Americans anyway. We view them as traitors, loyalists, and sellouts. It's easy to manipulate and deceive them. Don't let them get you get you comfortable. You know, we got this Trojan horse that had infiltrated our republic. That's fine. We remember. We the people will remember. We remember those who put them on buses and sent them across the republic. We remember those who cut the gate and allowed them through. We will remember. And if you think that this would be like a Syria and Israel, Ukraine, if you think this would be like any of those conflicts where you had hundreds of thousands of people running away and fleeing, you are sadly mistaken. The minute you guys start attacking, the minute American blood started running red in our grass and on our pavement, you will suffer and you will suffer in the worst way. Because once you open up that can, it will be impossible for you to close. You're going to find out real quick that Americans are just as fanatical about their beliefs in liberty as you are about your beliefs in whatever the fuck you're doing. And I'm going to tell you something right now. The minute that can is opened up, you will not be able to close it. You will be hunted down. You will be persecuted. You will be chased to the ends of the earth. We will never give up. We will never relent. We will never surrender because this is our home. The fuck y'all think this shit is? Y'all think we gonna bend and eat? Y'all think we gonna willing to be slaves? You think we gonna run and hide? You think I watch right now? As you got videos of families, you got men trying to save their families. I seen this guy trying to get his family out of the fucking house. His little babies, man, his little girls, his little sons, they coming out, his wives coming out. As soon as he come out, he gets shot. So many men willing to drop their nuts to save their family. I'm gonna tell you something right now, it'll be a cold day in hell before I ever in my life put my children through some shit like that. And I'm gonna tell you something right now, if it ever comes down to a situation where my children must experience the horror of war, you will suffer greatly. You will suffer greatly for taking away the innocence of my children. For making my children witness things that I try desperately to protect them from. America will end up in chaos. And I'm going to tell you when to do. For those of you that are responsible for it, there will be nowhere safe for you to go. You fucked up in assuming that Americans will behave like the rest of these world. You will not have hundreds of thousands of military-age Americans fleeing to other countries. You will not have hundreds of thousands or millions of American men running away. But instead, you will see us on the front lines. You will see us in the cities. You will see us everywhere. Because the minute that it goes there, there is no going back. We know exactly who to blame. We know it's the government. And it will be nothing to protect you at that time. Let massive terrorist attacks. Let things happen here in the state. There will be nothing to protect you. Nobody will give a fuck about their jobs no more. Nobody we give a fuck about breaking the law no more. We will suffer.